Ace Leanne Sanderson and Leanne, it must be nice to come back here. Yeah, you know, this place holds a very special place in my heart. You know, it's fantastic to come back here and, you know, to be back in these surroundings. We had so many amazing memories here. 12 years at the club, at this fantastic club. So, yeah, it feels amazing. Well, more from Leanne in a moment. But unfortunately, there have been three games that have been postponed this weekend. The first one being the London derby, Chelsea against Tottenham, due to positive COVID-19 tests in the Blues' camp. West Ham against Aston Villa also suffering from positive COVID-19 tests and Birmingham City against Manchester City will have to be rescheduled because of a waterlogged pitch. But we start here at Arsenal where they're hoping to get over their defeat against Manchester City last weekend. Your commentators are Jane Ludlow and Vicky Sparks. So Arsenal's women hoping for better fortune against Everton this weekend than Arsenal's men. Just one victory in their last five for the women's side. Can they get back to winning ways against an Everton team who are winless in their last four in the league? The big team news for Arsenal is no Viviana Miedema in the starting lineup. She is on the bench. Jordan Nobbs starts for the first time since October and Lisa Evans makes her first league start of the season. Two changes for Everton as well from their morale-boosting Continental Cup win over women's Super League leaders Manchester United. Hayley Rasso replaces Simone McGill and youngster Grace Clinton makes only her second Everton start. She's in for Abby Lee Stringer. There is Viviana Miedemar, the WSL's all-time leading goal. Defender, like clean sheet, is the most important thing and, and the three points. And uh, I thought all the girls were brilliant today, so we can uh, go into Christmas with a, a good three points under our belts. It's been uh, very, very difficult uh, in, in, in all fronts, in all, all situations, and, um, you know, a very complete performance against a, a very, very good team. The first ten minutes was unacceptable, and, and I, I will ensure that that will never happen again, that ten minutes. Uh, I thought after that, for the rest of the half, we were good. I, I, thought, I thought there were moments our play were really good uh, after we got that ten minutes done, but we cannot, we cannot react in a positive way when we're 2-0 down now against a team like Arsenal. And we've been joined by Arsenal's Jordan Nobbs. But, Leanne, I'm just going to start with you. A great result for Arsenal, and it keeps them right up there in the mix at the top half of the table. Yeah, it was brilliant for me to come back here to Bournemouth to see my former team winning the way that they did. You know, absolute quality all the way through. You know, Everton couldn't really get near them. Jordan was magnificent today. You know, the girls were brilliant all over the pitch, and it was really good for me to come back here and see them get the win. And Jordan, for yourself, great to see you back out there starting. Clearly, you've been chomping at the bit to get back out there. Four minutes in and you're straight in with that first goal. And can you just talk us through that? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, uh, Beth's got a great talent down the wing. And um, obviously, I'm playing that inside winger role for Joe. And I just wanted to, to be in the box and kind of make that last minute run. And, um, you know, it was a perfect start to me getting back in the team, really, to get on in a goal. Obviously, Beth does great here, just getting past the player, driving past her. And then um, we were laughing because I did swing at it, but I think it hit my other foot. But, you know, they all count. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, four minutes in, obviously, just a great start to our game. And I'm just glad to get on the score sheet for our team. And this is the sec This is um, Beth, Beth Mead's goal. Yeah, so, I mean, Beth's always one of them. She's a, qu a quick player for us. And... I do like to hit them long balls uh, in behind and uh, Beth definitely makes this pass look a lot better for me but um, I think uh, Everton were trying to high press us and the counter attack was on so luckily we uh, got a goal in there to um, you know, keep the pressure on. Yeah, this, this is a brilliant ball, Jordan. What position do you prefer playing? You know, right now you're playing in that position on the <laughs> left side and I'm pretty sure you can play anywhere. I haven't played with you before. What position do you prefer playing? I mean, I've naturally been at eight all my all my life, but uh, I'm getting older now, so uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the inside winger. I, I just want to be on the pitch for Arsenal, and uh, I've had a few injuries the last few years, and it, it's tough coming back from them. And I just had to wait my time to get back in the team, and and I, I always want to show what I can do when I play, and um, you know, hopefully I did that today. Yeah, you're brilliant. And Jen Beat, you got a goal today as well, and that must have been so nice to be able to see her do that, considering what she announced in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, we're we're so proud of her, and um, you know what she's doing behind the scenes that no one sees it's it's honestly unbelievable and she's been one of the strongest people I've, I've ever known and um, I believe in fate and luck and everything like that and you know she got a goal when it, she, it first came out and then a goal today um, and she's just an unbelievable person and player and I think whenever we celebrate when she scores it's it's for that reason of, of proudness of, of being with her and having her in our team as well and then your own performance today great confidence boost going into 2021 of course 
yeah, uh, every game counts in this league and um, Everton have knocked points off people. So it was a big game for us and uh, hopefully I can, you know, keep pushing and having a shirt for this club. Thank you very much, Jordan. Thanks very much. It's been a tough time for Bristol City, having not won a single league game this season. But by contrast, Manchester United remain firmly at the top, unbeaten. Commentary comes from Adam Inca. United unbeaten in the WSL. Bristol City still very much searching for their first win of the campaign. Long ball forward, Salmon on the run, Salmon in behind early on for Bristol City, what a chance! Well, already a warning sign in this game for Manchester United with Ebony Salmon set free. United building well on the edge of the penalty area. Zellum, now potentially a chance, big hit and a super save, palmed over the top. United can come forward. Tobin Heath looking to shoot from deep. Hits one! Not too far away. Good defending though. Bristol City cutting off those angles for the passes. Golton drifts in field. Turns, has a look up. Hits the shot, fierce drive. It's a wonderful goal. And Lee Golton strikes for Manchester United some hit from a player who seems to be going from strength to strength Leah Golton makes it 1-0 committing plenty of bodies forwards oh it's come all the way through to Tobin Heath who's denied by Sophie Bagley it's a brilliant stop by the impressive keeper for Bristol City Leah Goldson scrapping to win it back and surely, well, surely a big decision here for the referee. Laura Rafferty goes colliding into Leah Goldson. Didn't really seem to have much of an intention of playing the ball there. Well, I hope she's OK, but this is a poor challenge. And now there will have to be surely a decision from the referee and it will be a yellow card. Zellum. Good ball into the area and it's messed at the far post and glanced in. United grab a second, Turner gets there. It's been coming for Manchester United. And Millie Turner, what a season she's having. Here comes Salmon. No flag from the assistant on the near side. Might be able to get a chance away here. Quick feet from Salmon. Well, it's saved well by Earps. Stretching up to deny the goal. Pushes away to safety. Tobin Heath. Another good delivery for United towards Turner. Sigsworth looking for the shove. Up off the ground and into the back of the net. Well, she's onto her feet quickly, having lost her footing, smashing in for goal number three for Manchester United. Up she gets, and in it goes. Goldson! Oh, yes! It's another super strike, a spectacular effort from Leah Goldson. And that is a fine hit from a player in fine form. What a season she's having. Bristol City have some space with Wellings into the area now. Wellings, well, I don't think anybody was expecting that. And there's a good cut back into the area. Chance for Bristol City. And Earps stretching down, manages to prevent Charlie Wellings and keep the clean sheet for Manchester United. Might be a chance here for another for United. Fuso unable to slip the ball through. Ebony Salmon away. Ebony Salmon through on goal. Big chance here for the former United player. Good save by Earps. Another opportunity for Salmon. Slams in. 
she does have a goal just as she did in this fixture last season united won't keep the clean sheet here forward they come for a chance hansen strikes the crossbar United again with another opportunity, and there's goal five. It's a brilliant strike from Tobin Heath. First time here, just spots Bagley off of her line ever so slightly, and one of the world's best with a spectacular strike. Now Hayley Ladd can come forward. They're into the area again here. Tobin Heath looking for her second, and she's found it. In a classy win for Manchester United. 6-1 winners against Bristol City. I have to be really pleased with how we use the ball. Some of the goals were outstanding um, and a pleasure to see and watch and to even be in the stadium to see them. So, yeah, really pleased. Obviously, we managed to get more minutes into people today as well. And most importantly, we, we finish the year, you know, in a position that puts us in a really strong position for the second half of the season. A thrilling game at Lee Sports Village today as Manchester United remain unbeaten. And Leanne, we have to talk about Leah Gorton. She's in sensational form. Two goals today. Yeah, she's doing fantastically well. You know, she's a player that I've seen play in America when she was in school, you know, and uh, she's doing brilliantly. And I think it just goes to show you what you can do when you have a manager that believes in you and, you know, puts that trust in you and you can see that. And when you're happy, you play really... I mean, when I'm happy, I'm my happiest, I play my better football. So, as you can see here, you know, picked up the ball. She looks really, really good. And that is an unbelievable strike. You know, I'd be happy with that. And that's a brilliant strike from Leah. And like I said, when you, when a player's happy and when they're enjoying their football, these are the kind of things they can do, you know. And second goal as well, you know, I would say it's a cross-come shot, but that's not taking anything away from the execution. I think she looks quite surprised herself, but I'll take that all day long. So great display from her today, two goals. And, you know, like I said, when a player's happy, that's what, that's the result you get. And, of course, Tobin Heath as well on the score sheet. And we have to look at this Tobin Heath goal again. It was fantastic. Yeah, Tobin's a brilliant player. You know, I played with Tobin when we played for the Portland Thorns. And, you know, everybody's always known how good she really, really is. And she's a player that absolutely loves football. You know, and you can see her eye for the goal. You can see her ability to be able to know when, when to do it at all times. And that's a brilliant strike, you know, so far out. And I've seen Tobin do that in training when we used to train together and stuff like that. So I'm not surprised from her, but I'm so happy that she's doing so well in this league. And she She's one of those players that absolutely loves the game, you know, and um, it's great to see her being so successful. And Leanne, they're not budging from that top spot. Do you think they're in for that title shout? Yeah, 100%. You know, I think Casey Stoney's done a fantastic job there. You know, I played with Casey um, at Chelsea and, you know, her mentality is on a different level. You know, she's a winner and I think that's what she's getting and I think she's getting the best out of her players. You know, whoever's come in, whoever's playing, you know, we've seen Katie Zellum drop out of the lineup and she's been the captain. So Casey's not scared to make decisions and I think that's what's going to make her go from strength to strength. But Manchester United, for sure, I think are right up there and, you know, they're only in their second, third year in the league, you know, and it's amazing what Casey's done in a short space of time. But hopefully they'll be still up there. They certainly are. And there's just one more game to go as Reading travel to Brighton and the Seagulls have lost their last three league games and have failed to score. Your commentators are Lucy Ward and Adam Summerton. That's actually been given as a goal kick. Both these sides eager to climb the table, neither will be content with their seasons to date. And the shot, it's an optimistic one from Jakes, but the opportunity did present itself. Fishlock, who's got Harding in support, she didn't need it. What a precise finish that was from Jess Fishlock. Her first goal for Reading, the player on loan from Rain in the States. Great goal. Yeah, architects of their own downfall here. Brighton, and it's a loose ball and just stop slips. Can you see, just slip it. Take nothing away from the power and accuracy of the shot from Jess Fishlock. Brighton on the attack here. And it came to O'Sullivan, and the referee's given the penalty. Well, she just gave herself a second to think there, Abigail Byrne, but it did look a heavy challenge. Brighton, having not threatened, really, Grace Maloney's goal as yet, now have the chance to equalise from the spot. 
And what an emphatic penalty that was from Inessa Kaufman. Her third league goal of the season. Dispatched so confidently the spot kick. But the slip could allow Reading in here. Harry's waits in the middle. And it came out to Fishlock, who made no mistake. Her second of the game. And she wasn't going to miss from there. And Reading have their lead back. Some midfielders that come from deep positions and arrive in the box. I mean, Brighton are just playing into Reading's hands. They're pressing high. But you just see the quality of Fishlock here. She could have really snatched at that shot, but she waited that split second until the chance was there to strike it. Lee's pass. And Gibbons is a long way forwards, and it's built to Whelan. Almost the perfect start to the second half there for Brighton. Fishlock. Wooden. Fishlock. Nice link up there. Fishlock on a hat trick. Fishlock. A third would finish this off as a contest now, and they might get it as well as Rowe nips in. And off the post, and, and was it over the line? It's been given. Rachel Rowe with the goal that seals the deal here for Reading. They will take all the points. That's a great little finish. And sister referee thought that she'd seen it go over the line. She chose the right pass. It's not offside. Sorry, Williams is playing a run, and it's a deft little finish, that, isn't it? Hit the post, and the Saint did that go in. You can't really tell from this angle, but the liner, you can see where the liner is. It's just a referee right on the line, so if anybody's going to be able to see it, she can, but the goal is definitely worth how clever that finish is. And it finishes Brighton 1, Reading 3. It wasn't the prettiest at times, I must admit, but... The, uh, the overall performance warranted, warranted three points. And I'm just glad they've got that to finish 2020. I'm pleased and I'm not pleased. I'm obviously not pleased with, with the result. I'm pleased with certainly the second half, the way we performed and, you know, quite often had them on the back foot. But I think their quality showed through today. And that makes it four consecutive home defeats for Brighton. But we have to talk about Jess Fishlock. Leanne, I mean, two goals today. Yeah, Jess is a fantastic player. You know, I've played against her a number of times in America and she's one of those players that you want on your team. You don't like to be playing against her. And, you know, she's not one that necessarily scores loads of goals, but what she brings to the team is phenomenal. You know, her work rate, her quality, her tenaciousness, you know, she's fantastic. And she's got two goals today and, like, two brilliant goals. Like I said, she's not usually someone that scores a lot of goals necessarily when she plays on teams, which she could have slipped her teammate there, but she's taken a responsibility on. And, you know, Jess is a winner. And the second goal, I mean, I'm going to be asking questions of the uh, Brighton defence here because you can't be leaving so many players wide open, but taking nothing away from, you know, Jess's composure here to, to, to score this. But you've got to be asking where are the players, the Brighton defence there, because they've got to be doing better than that. But great finish from Jess. And two goals today. And like I said, she's a fantastic player. And she's a player that Reading could definitely look to for leadership and just all-round quality. And that makes it Reading's first win in seven. Yeah, you know, they, they had a fantastic year last year. You know, I think the expectations are quite high at Reading with the quality of players that they have. But, you know, they're going to be happy today. And with players like Jess, they're only going to take them to that next level that they need to. And hopefully work their way up the table. Let's have a look at the league after round 10. Manchester United 6-1 thumping of Bristol City keeps them top of the table. Arsenal are four points behind them in second, with Chelsea and Man City third and fourth respectively, despite not playing this weekend. Reading's win against Brighton keeps them in sixth. Aston Villa and Bristol City make up the bottom two, with the Robins still without a win this season. Now, today marks the final round of WSL fixtures for this year and what a season it's been so far. So let's take a moment to reflect on what we've enjoyed. This is Heath and that is her first goal for Manchester United. Alex Morgan steps up against Weiss, puts Tottenham into the lead. Whipped into the far post and there's Press. It is a first goal for Christian Press. And it's gone all the way in. And we will have a grandstand finish. Spin out to Mewis. Sam Mewis gets on the score sheet. Absolutely beautiful.
principle from Peninahada. Oh, that's absolutely outstanding. And in the final minute of that in time, City go in front. And Ella Turn is in. Ella Turn for Manchester United. And Vivian Miedema makes WSL history. Now the league's all-time top scorer. The keeper's come out and is stranded. Fantastic from Frank Kirby. Kerr is sliding in. A fourth goal of the season. Miedema! A howitzer from Vivian Miedema. An elegant finish from Ella Toon, who sealed the three points for Manchester United. Very good save from Hannah Hampton. A fabulous effort from Chloe Kelly. Leanne, so many great players coming over to the WSL. It's fantastic to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. You know, I've lived in America now for a number of years, and originally I would say everybody wanted to go and play in America, and now it's the opposite. You know, I think everybody wants to come and play here. You know, we've got players coming from Canada, Australia, you know, America. It's fantastic. And what are the qualities that some of those American players bring to the WSL? You know, with the Americans, that's something I fell in love with the country, you know, the mentality, that winning mentality. And people often say to me, what does that look like? I mean, you've only got to look at Tobin Heath and the way she carries herself, the way she plays, you know, not just the way she plays in her ability, but the way she carries the team and stuff like that. And that's something I think the Americans have that we don't necessarily have. And I think that's definitely something they brought to the league 100%. We can't ignore some of the English players that are doing a fantastic job as well, though, in the league too. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can't, we can't not mention, you know, the likes of Lucy bronze this week being crowned you know the best player in the world you know certainly I'm proud of her you know I've been a teammate at England for a number of years and she's always had that ability you know she's the last one left in fitness you know she always wants to win and she has that mentality and with players like bronzy in the team you know England we can go all the way so so proud of her this week fantastic achievement well we look forward to more of the same in 2021